Good morning, Scorpios. Good morning. Peace, love, light, healing energy. Happy Wednesday to all of you. I am back to bring you guys another channel message reading. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. So we're going to jump in. We're going to open up the spiritual portal to see what it is that you're needing to know from the universe. What's going on within your energy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I would love for you to become a part of our Scorpio Nation. So definitely hit the subscription button. You can have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. Okay. All right. So we're going to tap in. Let's see what the energy is bringing us on this Wednesday. Happy hump day Wednesday to everyone. All right. So I wanted to make sure I clear the energy of the cards first before I get started. Okay. All right, so spirit angels and guys, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, channel message reading. Please protect my energy as I channel the messages from the universe. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Please return back any evil eye, witchcraft, dark entities, anything that's not of my highest good, my soul tribe of Scorpio, highest good, and their loved ones as well as our channel, our sacred space. Please return the energy back to its rightful owner. So more to be. Amen and amen. All right, guys. So let's see what we have on this Wednesday morning. Show me what I need to see. Spirit, angels, and guys for Scorpio. Oh, okay. So we got one that flew out on the floor and let's see what this is. All right, so we have 777, which talks about being spiritually awakened, also divine intervention. So the universe is letting me know that they're stepping into a particular situation, whether it's friends, family, relationship, job, career, the universe is intervening. So if you're seeing 777, that's a divine intervene in whatever your prayers was about. This could be you guys going through an awakening. Maybe you're starting to see life, people, places, things in a different situ in a different light, I should say. Okay. All right. So let's tap in. Let's see what this is in regards to. All right. Spirit angels and guys, tell me about 777. What is it that my Scorpios are needing to know if they're seeing 777? me what I need to see. All right, please clarify 777 if the collective is seeing this angel number. How does it associate with Scorpio? Tell us about 777. Thank you. We have another seven here. So seven of pentacles. Hmm. I feel like with this seven of pentacles, you have really been patient. You have been planting seeds for success, possibly for love, career, finances. You may have been doing some type of manifestations and as you plant the seeds into the soil, you're just waiting for your flowers to bloom. So there's still one pentacle here between his legs. It seems like there's something else that you're needing to add to this tree. So this is almost like you're getting rewarded for being patient, rewarded from the universe because you were patient enough to wait for things to grow in your favor. Yep, the hangman here. You were patiently waiting for the universe to open doors for you. You listened to your intuition and you kept planting seeds for success, for growth, abundance, prosperity. It seems to me that with the hangman, that some of you guys, it's like you had to give up certain sacrifices. You had to look at life, yourself, people, the energies around you in a different perspective. You opened your mind more. You opened your conscious and subconscious a whole lot more. Hmm. Yeah. Tell me more. Seven, seven, seven. 
Oh, too many. Oh, I was trying to slip out of my hands. <laughs> All right, so we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. You felt unhappy for some time now. You really felt unhappy. I don't know what you could have been unhappy about. This could have been with your life in general, your progress, your growth, your happiness. You felt like you were in a season where you wasn't winning. You felt very disappointed within yourself. You felt like your dreams did not come true. Even though you may have planted the seeds, you put in the work, you put in the effort. You were displaying perseverance. Hmm. It's almost like you're looking back at what you invested. This could be with finances. This could be investing into yourself, a relationship. And somehow you were disappointed in what you invested yourself into. And look at there, the hangman is still here. So there was something that you had to sacrifice. This is like you had to wait on God. You had to wait on the universe to make some type of change. Yeah. So some of you guys can have Pisces within your chart. Tell me about 777. Okay. King of Wands. Oh, wow. King of Wands is in the reverse. Hmm. So you possibly had a relationship with a fire sign here. Someone who did not possess leadership skills. Someone who's very vicious, had a hot temper. Someone who possibly was a cheater. They used their looks to get what they want. This was a karmic. Male or female with the king of wands. This is someone that you may have separated from. Because of this person's actions, the divine has intervened. So we go from the nine to the ten of cups. So there's no love here. There's no emotions being spewed out. It seems like all of the love is gone. This person created an unhappy environment for yourself your children the relationship there was a lot of conflict because this person was not standing in their power they were actually powerless this was a karmic this was someone who was kind of hard head wanted things their way very selfish mm. so i felt like you were patient and possibly hoping for some type of a change within this person. But since they have disappointed you and they made you very unhappy, now the divine is stepping in. Because they watch how you maybe have invested into this person, mind, body, spirit. You love them. But that one pentacle that's under his feet near near his um his stick here, there's something that you have not put in that you may have kept for yourself. But you, it seems like you gave your all. Out of the seven, you gave six. But there was one pentacle that you did not add into it. And this could have been a pentacle just for maybe like a small savings account. This can be something that, hey, you know, I still got something left in me to grow within myself. I didn't give everything, but I, I almost gave it all up. 90% of it that I gave to this person, but they turned around and made me unhappy. Cheating, lying, being deceitful, displaying karmic energy. Yeah. Tell me more. Yep. Three of Cups. This person cheated with a third party. Or they could have put friends and family before their own family, their own relationship. Hmm. This person could have went out drinking with buddies, old high school buddies. Hanging out with friends all the time. Getting with other women, other men. Just being a cheater. Tell me more. 777 Divine Intervention. Show me what I need to see. Okay. All right. So, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And we, yeah. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. This is someone who was not focused on the goal, the dream, the assignment here. This is someone who was very disrespectful towards you. 
Mm. They're not trying to take action to fix what was broken. With the six of pentacles in reverse, this person breadcrumbed you. They did not pour into the relationship like you did. There was no equal give and take. I feel like, honestly, with that Six of Pentacles, this is some type of debt to the universe that this person is building up, little by little. Every time that they're not trying to fix things, this person is going to be owing a karmic debt to the universe because they didn't ride the course out. They missed an opportunity with you to grow, to have a family, to have abundance here. They choose to be negative. Mm. Yep. A lot of wands. A fire sign here. This person choose to be a playboy, playgirl. They choose to still act as, act as if they don't have a family, have a relationship, talking to other people, disrespecting their relationship, hot-tempered, playing both sides, being in and out, still want to have their cake and eat it too type of energy. Mm. They wasn't focused. And so now they're going to miss this opportunity with you. And you feel as though this, this situation was a complete disappointment. With the world in the reverse, this was too much of a burden. This person made you feel empty and possibly sometimes depressed. King of Cups in the reverse. Now, if that's not your energy, feeling depressed and incomplete, this person is acting out of a childlike energy because they may be feeling empty inside. They don't feel complete, so they feel the need to start dealing with other women, other men. It's like someone here wants to feel included. They have that FOMO energy, fear of missing out. So they be devious and withdrawn from you, causing you to be unhappy. This is very selfish here. And on top of that, they was very manipulative. Very manipulative in this situation. Very manipulative here. I feel like this person knows that they're making you unhappy, but they're not taking action to fix the situation. They don't think before they speak or think before they act. They just jump in. And that's what Knight of Wands are. These are people that are so energetic. They're so charming. They don't give a damn about life. They're taking chances every day, you know? Tell me more about 777. So the universe is stepping in because of what this person has done. Yeah. The Tower, Scorpio energy. This person don't want to change. They're not trying to change. This is one of the people that's like, I've been like this all my life. This is someone who constantly lies. They don't take accountability for their actions. They don't. So they keep lying about things. And this is why eventually you're going to have to walk away. It's not going to change. They already give you the Nine of Cups energy disappointment. They did not make your dreams come true. So at this point, you're leaving those eight out of ten cups you're leaving them behind it's like you're feeling lonely in this relationship so you're gonna have to abandon ship yeah what's the final card yeah there it's almost like someone is avoiding admitting oops admitting their wrongs here that's what it seems like all right what's the final card spirit angels and gods All right, so we have two page of swords in the reverse and the nine of swords in the reverse. Hmm. So this person is either an air sign or a fire sign here. Could be a Scorpio. But this is someone who likes to make a lot of excuses. They create situations that don't make sense. This is like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah. Someone who plays victim. Oh, poor me type of energy. Mm. Now, with that nine of swords, this could be you getting help from the universe where you're starting to open up to the universe and pray about the situation. You no longer have any anxiety, a mental breakdown. 
having sleepless nights. You're no longer doing that because the divine is not going to allow you to, to break yourself or go through a breakdown. You may have even felt like you were going through a breakdown, but the universe is catching you before you fall. This person is bad news. <clears throat> Very sarcastic. And with these swords being in the reverse, it tells me that you guys may not be in communication. Little by little with the divine intervention, as you go through the spiritual awakening, you're starting to open up to see what's really going on. What type of person this is you're really dealing with. Very malicious, sarcastic, putting their feelings before yours. Kind of like what I said, like for me type of energy. This person could have met some females, some guys, some friends offline. Something about social media here. Mm. On top of them being a page and a knight, they've, it's almost like this person is a complete karmic here. They came in to destroy what you were trying to build with them. This person has some karmic dead here. And all they're doing is building it up because they're not taking responsibility for how and what they have done to the connection here. They cause so much chaos, so much unbalance here towards this Queen of Wands, which is you. You're looking like, I, I'm too overwhelmed with the BS, the cheating, the lies, not taking accountability, not giving me your all. You're making me unhappy. You're very rude and disrespectful to me. Sarcastic. You're putting your friends and family, other people before me. I'm tired. Things are so unbalanced between us. Yeah, you are this queen. But through it all, you're being strong. I feel like the universe is pushing you to remain strong. You got this. You are this divine feminine energy, queen of pentacles. And the strength card. You may have heavy Leo in your chart or earth sign. Possibly a Taurus here. You're at that point where it's time for me to sacrifice this family, this relationship here. I'm going to have to realize that I am a queen. I deserve better than this. Or for my guys, you know, I am a king. I'm a divine masculine. I do not deserve to be treated this way. I'm going to have to let this go. I'm going to have to build up the strength and courage to really walk away from this relationship because I'm being bullied mentally, emotionally, spiritually. It's too much lies here, too much slander. It's too much bullying. It, you know, it's at this point, you're ready to just surrender and let it go. It's like, it's nothing to save here. We argue all the time. Mental, emotional, physical abuse. This person's always playing games, trying to manipulate me. And at this point, I'm going to have to accept the fact that this is a whore. Male whore, female whore, and that the lovers in the reverse. This is not my person. This is my fault. This is a false twin flame. This is a karmic that I'm dealing with. This is someone who's not ready to settle down. So that's why the divine is intervening. Also, the divine could be intervening to the fact where you guys won't work out. This person made a lot of bad choices. This could be a Gemini here. There's so many arguments here I'm getting. You're just so unhappy with this person. But now I'm seeing that you're you're accepting the fact that, okay, you know what? Maybe all this happened for a reason. Maybe God has something different for me. You know? You're starting to get in that energy where I'm accepting it. Even though it hurts, I'm already unhappy with who this is I'm dealing with. I don't get treated like a lady. I don't get treated like a gentleman. My feelings, emotions, what I feel is not important to this person. So... The universe is kind of like showing you someone's true colors if they're wearing a mask here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's too much going on with this. It's time to let it go. Yeah. All right, Scorpios, this is your morning message. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Comment down below if this is your situation, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.